And thank you for being with us. I'm Amy Hawker. And I'm Kelsey Carlson. We begin with the new body camera video just in from St. Paul Police this afternoon, three days after one of their officers was involved in a deadly shooting. We do want to warn you before we show that that it is hard to watch. And let's go right to our Paul Bloom. He's live in St. Paul tonight. So, Paul, uh, we also heard today from the police chief and the city mayor. They held a brief uh, news conference here, Amy Kelsey, uh, shortly after the public release of the body camera and dash camera video. Now they say any deadly police encounter here in the capital city is an absolute tragedy uh, for the entire community and their effort at uh, building, rebuilding uh, trust and transparency is to get any available video out to the public just as soon as possible. That's what they're doing here. Just three days after Howard Johnson was killed in an exchange of gunfire with a St. Paul police sergeant. Again, a warning here. Some of this video may be graphic for some. 07, he's walking his spawn hood, so got the gun in his right hand. He's pointing at a car. He's trying to carjack right now. The body camera footage from Sergeant Cody Blanchin captures a frantic 30 seconds. Blanchin on the lookout for an armed domestic violence suspect called into 911. When Blanchin radios, he has spotted the man attempting to jack a vehicle with a woman inside. We now know the armed subject is 24-year-old Howard Johnson. The sergeant rams his squad into Johnson, hitting him in the back and side, according to preliminary findings from the Bureau of Criminal Apprehension. This wide angle, also released by the St. Paul Police Department Thursday, just three days after the deadly encounter, appears to capture Johnson fire first as the squad barrels towards him before Blanchin jumps out, a couple more shots, and Blanchin opens fire. Speaking the newly sworn in police chief was asked what he in sees in this like video. That. I think the video speaks for itself, but I certainly haven't done a forensic exam of any of it, and I don't want to make judgments about a case that I'm not personally involved with. We're not satisfied with the videos that we've seen, um, and that the videos that we've seen do not tell the whole story. There's no way that it tells the whole story. We still want all of the information that's available. We want all of it's the like footage made. Pieces. We do appreciate what they have made available. We do appreciate the olive branch, but it's, 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 it's not satisfactory. And you heard there uh, the Johnson's uh, family, the Johnson family, loved ones came here to St. Paul Police Headquarters to watch these videos before they were released publicly. And as you heard there, they want more. They want to see the exact totality of the circumstances that led to the father of two being slain in that exchange of gunfire uh, with uh, Sergeant Blanche. And I should mention tonight the BCA investigation to the totality of what happened that night, uh, Monday evening, at that intersection in St. Paul continues. Live outside police headquarters, Paul Bloom, Fox 9. Well, police in